Don't forget to subscribe. Okay guys, so time for the mods. Um, the first thing we're gonna need is the mod itself. So we're gonna click on the first link in the description. It's gonna bring us to Nexus mod, but on this exact page. Um, we're gonna scroll down and click on files. And it's the first one here. So what we're gonna do now is just hit manual download. And it's gonna bring us to this page and we're gonna hit slow download. That's going to download pretty fast. It's only 229 KB. Okay. Okay, guys. So the next thing we're going to do is click on the second link in the description. It's going to bring us to this website here. Now, this is the um, the developer's website itself. I, fortunately, I believe he can post certain files on Nexus because it's prohibited. So anyway, we're going to come to this page and we're going to go straight down to this download button right here. And we're just going to click that and it's going to deliver that file for us. Okay, guys. So I have the game folder here. Um, I have the mod and now I have the other files. So I have everything that's needed for the installation. But before we actually do that, I need to do one more thing or basically show you guys one more thing. Um, where is it? If you did get your game from Steam, you're going to need to actually go to Steam itself to help find the game folder because it's very important that you install the mod in the actual game folder. So if you bought the game from Steam, unfortunately, I didn't get it from Steam. I got it from somewhere else. Um, but anyways, what you want to do is go to Steam, go to your library and then click on any game. Well, click on Dragon's Dogma. That's going to be uh, located somewhere in here in the library. Um, then you want to hit this right here manage then you want to go to manage again and then browse to local files and it should pop up exactly where you where the game folder is actually located okay so now that we have the folder unpack um the curious thing about these two folders i believe they contains the same content but um uh, they're missing a certain thing because i believe certain files are prohibited so you want to go to enb series once it's unpacked and then you want to go to wrapper version. And then we're going to take this d3d9.dal file and we're going to drop it this into the game folder itself. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and and open the game folder. Yep. Okay. So I got the game folder here. I got the wrapper version over here. Um, so what I'm going to do is just click this and drag this in here. So now we got that first one in there. And I'm going to exit out of this. Now it's time to do the mod itself. So the WIC, F-U-T-E-M-B, uh, Dragon's Dogma, and it has the date there and everything. Oh, okay, so I'm going to open that file, that folder now. And now what I'm going to do is just copy and paste everything from here. Where is it? Uh, yep, here's my button. So I'm just going to hit copy. And I'm going to bring it all in here and paste. And now I'm going to click out of this and I'm going to now run the game. All right, guys. So now that the game has started up at any moment, we're going to receive an indication right here uh, in the top left corner. That's indication letting you know that you have successfully installed a mod and it is up and running. 
Alright guys, so before I end the video, we're gonna do another mod and it's gonna be very quick. Um, it's called Don't Blind Me. Now this one goes hand in hand with the one we just did. What this one does is actually control the light coming from different sources. Whether that be the wand, the staff, the lantern, or another big one is traveling with the fairy stone. When you throw that up in the air, the light that comes from that is a little bit too much to handle. So you got two options. You could either go with the low, which really kills the light, or the medium that keeps some source of it. Like it keeps something. And to see the difference, this is what the game is actually like. The third one, as you can see right there. But what we're gonna do is install this. Again, this is gonna be the third link in the description. So what we're gonna do is go to files. Uh, I'm gonna go with the medium, right? Medium, um, actually, you know what? Let's go with the low. We're gonna go with the low. And hit slow download. Okay, so once that's done downloading, I still got my game folder on the, on the um, desktop. I'm just gonna unpack this quickly. So go to extract, don't blind me, low version. And I'm gonna throw this one away. I no longer need that. I'm gonna open my game folder and move it right here. Oh, let me move this a little bit more. I need this. And then I'm gonna open the mod folder, put it on the right side. And then you have the instruction with it, but it's pretty simple this one. All you gotta do is take this folder and drag it into the game folder. And then you're gonna get this message that says uh, if you want to replace what's already located in the in your game folder. What you want to do is go ahead and say yes or replace the file in a destination. And once that's done, that's all set. The mod is complete. Uh, you can go ahead and run the game and have fun. But make sure to subscribe to the channel, guys. Make sure to hit that thumbs up and endorse every single creator of these mods. And I'll catch you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.